So BRCA germline positive breast cancer patients uh, are indeed a special subgroup of uh, breast cancers. Um, it's about 8% of all breast cancers. Um, Patients with BRCA mutations and breast cancer have certain characteristics. Uh, they tend to develop more triple negative breast cancer. Age onset is a little bit um, younger. Though they respond to standard therapies such as endocyclines and uh, taxanes, studies have shown that th we might further improve uh, outcome if we add some uh, other agents uh, such as the platinums and of course recently now the PARP inhibitors. Right. So in terms of uh, surgical management, uh, the management of the tumors is really not different, but the surgical implications is more in uh, the preventive options. So uh, women with breast cancer who also have a BRCA mutations often discuss with their providers uh, bilateral mastectomies, the contralateral mastectomy being preventive because it reduces breast cancer risk by more than 90%. These um, patients are also at increased risk for ovarian cancer. So after they uh, finish their, complete their treatments for breast cancer, ovarian screening and uh, doing bilateral cell Fingophrectomy uh, in their late 30s, early 40s is also highly recommended. So the medical aspects, uh, that's actually, the timing is great because uh, in the US, uh, February 12th or 13th, uh, one of the oral PARP inhibitors, Olaparib, was FDA approved for the treatment of metastatic BRC germline positive breast cancer. Um, that is based on a study in um, metastatic breast cancer patients with BRC mutations that compared Olaparib at 300 milligrams BID to um, physician choice chemotherapy that consist, consisted of capecitabine, eribolin, um, or uh, vinaralbine. And uh, the primary endpoint of that study was to look at progression-free survival. And indeed, the, the study met its uh, primary endpoint. Progression-free survival was significantly higher uh, for patients who received the oral uh, olaparib PARP inhibitor. Uh, secondary endpoints was uh, overall uh, objective response rate that was also significantly higher, uh, around 30% for the chemotherapy arm versus around 60% for the olaparib arm that was also statistically significant. So I am actually very excited to say that uh, olaparib has now become standard of care for metastatic breast cancer management in women with germline mutations. That's the Olympia D trial, exactly. And another recent trial, the Embraco trial, was also presented at the San Antonio Breast Cancer uh, Symposium, uh, looking at telozoparib versus physician choice of ter therapy. And uh, that study also met its uh, primary uh, endpoint that was progression-free survival favoring uh, telozoparib. And uh, secondary endpoint was objective response rate that was also met in that study. Not yet, not yet, but hopefully with follow-up, we'll see some improvements.